One year on opening day, my son Nicholas and I drove out north of town. We set up in a likely spot. Sure enough, a moose walked out. Put the crosshairs on the moose, pulled the trigger. The moose went down. That's how you shoot a moose. But there's a bit more to the story than that. Earlier that year, during the summer, we started driving around the area we planned to hunt. We drove this large loop, probably about a 50 mile loop actually, and we made note of where we saw fresh moose tracks every time. A lot of the roads in that area were quite sandy, and you could see moose tracks, and in fact tracks of almost all animals, just as if they were in snow. They showed up very, very well. Everywhere we saw fresh moose tracks, we tied some flagging tape on a tree. Every time we did the loop, we did that again and again and again, until finally, uh, by the end of the summer, there were a few locations where every time we'd gone by, there was fresh moose tracks. So we picked one of those locations, went there on opening day, set up, did some calling, a moose walked out. We put the crosshairs on it, pulled the trigger, the moose went down. That's how you shoot a moose. Even before that though, March 21st that same year, I came home for lunch and there on the kitchen table was a long slender box. I knew exactly what it was. It was a rifle box and it was my birthday. And in that rifle box was a Remington 700 Sendero, synthetic stock, stainless steel fluted barrel, had an aftermarket muzzle brake. A friend of mine had given it to me for my birthday. That's what you call a good friend. I got a hold of some loading data for the 300 Winchester Magnum, which is what that gun was. And I started loading shells at the minimum load and added half a grain of powder every time I did a load. I did 20 loads, half a grain of powder apart up past the maximum load. I went to the gun range and I shot those 20 shells at the same target at 200 yards. And every time I took a shot, I cleaned up the barrel, let it cool down, went and marked the target. It took me quite a while, all afternoon to shoot those 20 shots. But when I was done, uh, something interesting appeared on the target. Uh, the bullet holes started quite low, and as the load increased, they started climbing, 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 and then the shots number 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, they got very tight, very close together. And then 16, 17, 18, beyond that, the pressure built and they went quite high. But there was that cluster of shells that showed the optimum load for that gun. And so I picked load number 13, 62.5 grains of the powder I was using, I loaded up a whole box of shells, went back to the gun range, and sighted the gun in for the trajectories I wanted. We then did our scouting through the summer, found the location we wanted. We then showed up opening day, did some calling. The moose walked out at what I guesstimated was 300 yards, turned out it was 330, didn't matter. I put the crosshairs on the boiler room, the heart lung area, pulled the trigger, moose ran a few feet, went down. We got home opening evening with our moose. That's how you shoot a moose. Of course, this isn't just about shooting moose, is it? It's about life, it's about work, it's about process and planning and preparation. And I don't think I need to make the application for you. You can figure it out. But that's how you shoot a moose. That's how you do life. That's how you get things done.